Welcome to this tutorial on how to close the top of a crochet hat. Crocheting hats can be super easy if you use this technique. All you have to do is crochet a rectangle or a tube and then assemble it at the top. In this example you can see we've worked back and forth in rows and then uh, whip stitched the ends uh, together to uh, create a tube. Now all you have to do is thread a needle and then we can start closing the top. Start by going through every inch or so, um, not through every stitch, but every fourth or fifth, depending on how many stitches you have on the top, and just pulling the needle through and repeat every inch or so a few times before you start pulling the hat uh, closed. You can see I'm always inserting the needle from the outside uh, in and that's how I find it easiest to do. Um, but you can try different methods and achieve the same result. So you can see now I've pulled through a few stitches and now I'm pulling it to start closing part of the hat. At this point it doesn't, doesn't have to be locked in but I'm just holding it um, and continuing with a few more stitches. After doing a few more stitches, I'm going to pull them close together again. Uh, and you can see part of the, the top are now starting to be closed. And all you have to do is continue all the way around. Uh, and pulling it together after you've done a few stitches. At this point you can see I move my hand to the inside to better uh, see the stitches and make it easier to continue seaming. Um, so that's a great tip for you if you're struggling to uh, hold it at this point. I'm slowly moving uh, closer to the end and uh, it's not long before the whole top is cinched in. And we're ready to pull the yarn and close the rest of the top at this point. You can see now that we haven't fully closed the top of the hat, you will have a small opening uh, at the top, but if you seam back and forth across a few times, you can slowly close the hat fully. I find it easiest to try to pull uh, at every stitch, however sometimes you just need to do a few more to truly Fasten them off and uh, get it all pulled tight. This will be different with different types of yarn. This one was a little bit uh, slippery and it was a little bit difficult to make it stay. Uh, but after f doing a few and pulling tightly a few times, uh, I got there. Uh, you can see we have a few tops. Um, that came from uh, doing every inch or so and I try to go through all of them to truly uh, get those seamed in and truly close the top um, and you can also see that that patterning will in the end look really great when you wear the beanie uh, so just go through them um, crisscrossing over uh, and make sure you truly Take your time to close it fully. After doing this back and forth for a while, uh, and you feel like you've truly co closed the gap at the top, you can just insert a needle through the beanie, because we've done this from the right side of the hat. Um, when you pull the yarn through now, you can weave in ends uh, at the back of the beanie, so having the wrong side facing you. Uh, 
before you weave in ends. Just go back and forth uh, a few times, um, weaving in them, and make sure you don't have to do all this work again. So I'm going back and forth for a while, and I'm actually weaving in more than I'm showing you now. Uh, I'm just going crisscrossing back and forth, making sure it doesn't unravel. Uh, and all we have to do now is cut the yarn and turn the hat back on the right side and it's ready to wear. At this point you can choose to add a pom-pom uh, or just wear it as it is. Um, I hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.